The Minha Mal is, he's a big, strong boy. Oh, but Vinicius Junior is an experienced Brazilian international. This guy is just, he's still a teenager, but I know he's won the Euros. Just a reminder of what happened with Spain yesterday. They had that late 1-0 win over Denmark, but one of the stories coming out of this one is Lamine Yamal picking up a muscle injury during the game. He's been withdrawn from the squad for the upcoming Serbia game as a precautionary measure, but there's been talk from his Spanish national team coach, Luis de la Fente, that he thinks this treatment is something he's gonna have to get used to. Here's what he had to say. The referee has to protect these talented players, but Lamine has to get used to it. I had a teammate who used to say, what do you want, kisses from the opponents? Teams use the weapons they can within the rules. Obviously, he is only a teenager. This is something that you can probably imagine is to be expected. Stevie, let me start with you on what you think of Luis de la Fuente's comments. I mean, it's very difficult to it's very difficult to have that much sympathy, to be honest, because you can't go around kicking people today. You just can't. The game has changed compared to Stevie's day and even compared to, to Ali's day, which is obviously more recent with, I, I don't know if they had VA, VAR and stuff when, when, you know, when, when Venezuela were busy kicking lumps out of Lionel Messi, but certainly in the Confederation where La Mina Mal plays, um, you're not going to, you're not gonna target him with dirty stuff. Now, we live in an era where, you know, you step on somebody's foot accidentally, it's a foul. Uh, all these changes have come along to protect the more talented players. We don't have debates about, you know, oh, did so-and-so intentionally hurt him? Yes, uh, of course, there's still situations where, where, where it can happen, where people leave a foot in. But what we're talking about here with Christiansen is simply physical defending. And then it's a question for Lamine Yamal, do I want to pull out of this challenge? Not because I'm I'm weak, but because I am the most I'm the best player on my team or close to it. I am far more important to my team than Christiansen is to his team. So if we go in for 50-50 chances and if there's even the slightest chance that I get hurt, I hurt my team more by, by getting injured more than Christian the Christiansens of the world hurt their team if if they get injured. I, I think it's as simple as that. And and that's that decision is that, you know, number 10s, attacking players, these, these skilled players, those are decisions that, that they have to make because they carry the ball more. They will inevitably be tackled more. And, and it's, not just Yamal, it's not just Yamal. I mean, Vinicius makes these decisions. Phil Foden makes these decisions. All these players, Mbappe makes these decisions all the time. How often do you see Mbappe going in for a 50-50? There's a reason for it. Leave that stuff to, 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 to your teammates or, or better equipped to it. And perhaps even, dare I say it, more expendable. I mean, as Luis says, we're not even talking, and we should, about Lamine Yamal being a youngster because there's so many other youngsters been thrown in there. Yes, he's now a veteran of the team. You know, you've had uh, Bernal, who's unfortunately injured, Mark Casado, but that's its sequel. But Vinicius Junior is an experienced Brazilian international. This guy is just, he's still a teenager, but I know he's won the Euros. And he just feels like he's so important for this team. Oi, obviously, Lamine Yamal is under the microscope, especially with the minutes that he's been playing for club and country mm, that's this year, this that's season what we as well. So you can add this on top of it that it's going to be a concern. Now he's back in Barcelona. How is Hansi Flick going to manage these minutes? We've seen what he's done so far. We can know the run of games that are coming ahead. Starts with Sevilla, then it's Bayern, and then it's Barca. What's he going to do here? Oh, you mean Bayern and then Real Madrid? Sorry, Real Madrid, <laughs> classical. Yes, yeah, yeah. of course. Um, well, and, and that I think it's, it's the key. Because, see, all these managers, and Luis de la Fuente has said very clearly, look, I'm not, I'm not resting La Mina Mal unless he's injured. Because he's only here for a couple of games, and so therefore I'm going to try to make the most of the opportunities that I have with this player and every other player that comes to play for Spain. As it pertains to Hansi Flick, then, he is the one that has to make the big boy decisions and has to make decisions based upon what's best for this player, what's best for the club, what's best for me, and somehow come to a decision that makes sense. Now, the last time that Hansi Flick was trying to rotate players in and out, they got manhandled by Osasuna at Osasuna. And so that, <laughs> that leaves a, a taste that is not all that pleasant. And so 
obviously that brings attention to any time he goes to rotate players, the, Sp the Catalan media will say, wait, 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 last time we did this didn't quite work. At some point, you're going to have to rest Lamin Yamal. Would you rather rest Lamin Yamal against Sevilla or against Bayern and Real Madrid? Obviously, the answer is very clear. It has to be Sevilla. But will he do it? That's a different question. Hansi Flick is managing these problems. And it's not just the problems of the injuries. It's the problems of the, all the issues that he inherited when everybody was fit. Mm -hmm. You know, not a particularly well-balanced midfield. And... You were really missing some defensive midfield players and had to go to the youngsters. And there's no Frankie de Jong. And last year it was Christensen playing in, in the middle. Now Eric Garcia finds himself in there. And yet they've had the most amazing start to the season. And so you have to give Hansi Flick a lot of credit. Can it last? It's going to be difficult. But just enjoy the way Barca are playing. By far and away at the moment, the best team in La Liga. Cela Puente, the manager for Spain, had some interesting comments mm. uh, this past week about who's truly, at the end of the day, responsible for giving these guys rest. Here he is, the manager of Spain. Quote, there's a FIFA study that says just 3.5% of games played by international players are with the national team. So I don't think the responsibility for managing minutes or not falls on the national team. It should fall on those who spend more time with the players, obviously, he's uh, talking about the clubs here. Frank, is he right? Well, yes, he's right, yeah, because, um, I mean, 3.5% is nothing comparing to uh, the 96.5% of uh, the club games. Uh, but it is what it is, and, uh, and it's an extra games that you have to play. It's extra games that you have to play with the national team, and maybe those games are a little bit too much for those players, but... Yeah, I understand what he means. Uh, he's uh, rejecting any, uh, any fouls from, uh, from him or the national team uh, for giving too much games. But it's always the same thing, you know. It's, uh, uh, it's always that you need to play international games to sign for a big club. And in order to, to be in the, with the national team, you need to be good and play many games for your club. Well, when you mentioned that the club paid the salaries, well... We all know that. Mm -hmm. But in order to elevate your career, and Frank alluded to it, you play for the national team. And so I'll just give you an example of one player, James Rodriguez, who going into the 2014 World Cup in Brazil was a good player on, on, the, on the right trajectory, on the path to greater and better things, but not quite to the level that he was able to accomplish once he had the World Cup that he had in 2014 in which now every big club came to the negotiating table when everybody said, that's a guy that we need to have in our team. And so he went from basically a player that seemed to be about to take a jump to taking a major leap, and now we're talking Real Madrid and eventually Bayern Munich and so on and so forth. His career changed dramatically because of the performance with the national team. The national team elevates your profile as a player and therefore therefore makes you a far more valuable commodity, an asset to the team that is trying to sell you as well to the team that is trying to buy you. So when club teams complain about players having to go with the national team, guess what? When that player goes and shows himself to the rest of the world, he's doing it essentially for free. You're, you as a club are not doing anything. He's actually showing himself. And when now big clubs come and buy you that play and pay tons of money for the play, you have now made a good side of good business. Isn't, and isn't that part of being part of this world market? And that's, that's something that we just have to accept. Mm -hmm. We cannot sacrifice the national team. You play two games once, what, every six weeks or so? Uh, we cannot, that cannot be the reason as to why we sacrifice games for the national team. If we're going to sacrifice games, you sacrifice games on the club side, mm. not on the national team side. The clubs. I understand that uh, uh, back then when there was no, it was a lot of friendlies, maybe you can complain or it's friendlies and the, and the player gets injured. And on these days, because there is a trophy, it's a different. There is no difference for a player. When you go to the national team, you give 120% because you want to be involved in the, in, the, in, the, in the game. You want to be involved in the squad. So there is no any difference. And I understand 
why De La Fuente is complaining because if I'm going to play 15 games a season and you, that you play 70, are going to ask me that I have to rest or I have to, ro to rotate the players, it's my job, it's my duty to bring the best of the uh, team that I can build. Exactly the same like, that is uh, Hansi Flick in Real Madrid, uh, in Barcelona, uh, Ancelotti in, in Real Madrid. Everyone is doing the best on their job. So if I'm here, it's because I need to bring the best of the best and take the best of, uh, of the players.